Let's go ahead and not buy the Black Cell Battle Pass and get this instead. Even if you were to waste $30 on the Black Cell Battle Pass, 20 tier skips is actually not enough to get any of the new weapons immediately, which is crazy. So we're just going to get the regular one. I did the exact same thing for Season 4 for Modern Warfare 2, and I had no problem with it at all. Sure, I didn't have immediate access to the weapons, but it's not like they were that good anyway. It doesn't really matter. But that could be different for Modern Warfare 2 Season 5. We currently have two brand new weapons. We have the new WA-2000, which is called the... Carrick 300 in this game. And we have a brand new FAMAS, which is being called the FR Advancer. We're actually going to check out both of these guns today. They have once again changed the UI. I mean, honestly, this isn't that bad. But I like how they have an entire section for Warzone that features whatever they want to on here. We don't get one for multiplayer. It's just Warzone. And when we click multiplayer, we're greeted by this ugly guy. And yeah, here's all the usual stuff. But yeah, going back to the battle pass, since this is the only way to get access to the new guns, aside from maybe a bundle in the store, even if you bought the Black Cell battle pass, you still can't get immediate access to any of these weapons. Unless you go to private match, which is what we're going to do. Where is private match? Dude. Oh my god, it's all the way at the bottom. They like tucked away private match at the very bottom. I'm kind of glad it has its own section though. They did a better job of organizing the modes, I guess. All right, we're in private match. We should be able to access all the new guns. All right, sniper rifles, where are you? There you are, the Carrick 300. Let's see if we have any unique attachments. Do we have a custom scope? Oh yeah. Well, oh, that's a different one. Ooh. Dude, that's kind of a clean scope. All right, but let's take it off though so we can see the default scope too. Wait, what did that even do? Oh, I wish it had the little funny face on the scope cover. This isn't a terrible scope, I think. Oh, you can spam this thing. This thing could be nasty. It can go up to 15 rounds. Oh, yes. Really just trying to speed up the ADS so that way we can quick scope with it. Let's check out the new assault rifle, too. We have the FR Advancer right here. Oh, my God. This thing's kind of bulky. Look at that. Wow, I mean, finally we have some unique feeling and sounding weapons. You only have 25 rounds, so you might want a 60 round mag. This thing does kick side to side pretty hard, so we might have to reduce the recoil. Let's check it out now. Okay, that's not too bad. I want to check out the Strike remake. Okay, I've got to say it. This just feels weird. We have a WA-2000 on a remake of a COD format. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video and you want to see some more new Modern Warfare 2 stuff, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's see if we can feed with this thing. How's it gonna do? Oh, not the hit marker. Ew. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, what is that? Two attackers, damage and hits? Wait, is that going to show up in multiplayer now? It's like kind of helpful, but also ugly. I don't know if I necessarily care to see that every single time I die. Which, by the way, if you're playing Modern Warfare 2 on PC, you're going to have to check this when you get on the game. They added a new graphic setting called Eco Mode, which by default, they have decided to turn on. They put it on minimal at first. It 100% reduces the performance of the game, and it's terrible. Please, please do yourself a big favor and just turn it off. If you put it on full, it apparently makes the game run at 30 FPS, which that could be funny, but... Don't think anyone really wants to play at that. Also, the Strike remake is looking nice so far. They did mention that, yep, there's now a door back here. Before, this was completely closed off in COD 4 in the Modern Warfare 2 remake, but now there's a door, so... Yippee. Could it ruin Search and Destroy? I don't know. Overall, the map looks pretty much the same. We have doors now, though. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I... What the fu- I can't even clip the bots. What is wrong with me? I'll give the new WA-2000 this. It's not as garbage as it was in the original Modern Warfare 2. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. It actually kind of feels the same. Look, hit marker up close. What is that? I, come on! But the whole thing with the original WA-2000 is that it was probably the worst sniper in the original Modern Warfare 2. But if you could hit clips with it, like if you were good with it, then that was awesome. Nowadays for Call of Duty, it's all about using the meta guns or whatever the best gun is or the strongest gun. And everyone promotes the usage of meta guns. So then the gameplay ends up getting really boring. Ooh. Oh, yes. Ooh, on go. I like this. This is what I'm talking about. See, since I'm using the WA-2000, a non-meta gun against bots, that means I'm good. Me very good at Call of Duty. This thing actually smacks. There could be some amazing clip potential. A 15-round WA-2000 that doesn't completely suck balls? Yeah, this could be pretty good. They basically took the WA-2000 and they gave it Barrett 50 cal status. All right, let's check out the new assault rifle, too. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Well, this is gonna be the new meta gun for season five. Oh, I gotta check one thing. If they got rid of this, then the map is pointless. Are we still able to jump off of here and go for a shot? Can we go for a shot? Can we do it? You, you kind of can, but man, it's gonna be hard. Let's give it a close range optic and see how it is for quick scoping. Let's give it the VLK. Half of the bots on the other team are broken. This is insane. <laughs> we just get spam quad feeds with this thing. They're they're legitimately stuck here. I don't know why they're refusing to play. Wait, this is different too. What? Look at this. Y 
they added a doorway so you could just walk through here. I don't know how to feel about that because this is like one of the spawn points. It's gonna make it so unpredictable if someone's sitting back there because now they have more than one way to get out. I never got to inspect this thing. Let's check out the inspect. What? It's over! Oh, the bots were playing the objective too hard. <laughs> Not gonna lie though, that Watt 2000 inspect is kind of ugly. Like, why are we flipping the gun over and looking at the other side? What's so special about the other side of the gun? I don't know. I don't think they could have done something much better though. But let's check out the other map too. This map's looking pretty vibrant so far. It could be nice. I have no idea how it's gonna play though. It could be terrible. Let's get a full inspection this time. Hopefully. Okay, yeah. Kind of pointless. How about the new FAMAS? How's this one? <laughs> Smack it up. <laughs> okay, not the best animations, but not terrible either. I always like checking those out because the animation team always works really hard on the inspects and stuff. Oh, I am in a zone right now. I am just trying to enjoy my time using these weapons because once we go online, I won't have them. And I probably won't have them for a while, but that's okay. If everyone else wants to go ahead and buy the black cell, that's fine. I don't care. But I'm not going to sit here and buy into that system. I'm not doing it. Ooh. Oh, look at the doggies. They're so cute. Fuck off! Am I dreaming or does this map actually have colors? Dude, this is a nice skybox. Look at that. Finally, something that doesn't look depressing like the state of the game. Which, by the way, there were apparently movement changes added to Modern Warfare 2, but I don't even know if I've noticed them just from casually playing against bots right now. They apparently did something with the jump height and how you jump and also sliding, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't really feel a difference. Okay, one thing that is noticeable though is that you can fire sooner after sliding. But as far as it goes for movement speeds and strafing speeds, the game still just feels the same. Like overall, it doesn't really feel any different. And this is exactly what I was saying too. Like they didn't hype up any movement changes for season five, but then we actually got some movement changes and they're nothing crazy, which I think was a smart move because it didn't get our expectations up too high. But again, I don't have any real expectations for this game to improve or change that much. So it just doesn't really matter. But I do like the ability to shoot a little bit faster after sliding. I think it makes sliding more viable now. Like, let's try to slide into a gunfight. Slide around here. We can shoot already. Look at that. If this was season four, I'd be dead before I could even shoot into the room. How the f- Yo, what is that? This is the only way to get through over here? That's dog shit. This gun melty. This this new assault rifle is actually super melty, though. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have a doubt in my mind that whoever ends up getting their hands on this first is gonna be spamming it no matter what. We about to have a Black Ops 1 situation on our hands. Can he get the nuke? Come on. Pop it out. There it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, both of these new guns are actually pretty solid. Yo, I'm just thinking ahead, this would be so nice for a thumbnail, but why did they put all this ugly ass barbed wire here? Like, why can't we just jump off the map if we want to? All right, let's drop the nuke on them. They're about to win again, playing the objective. What plebs? This is Modern Warfare 2, it should be all about the nukes. Wait, there's something free in the store? Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be something really cool. Oh, it's a gift pack of a marshmallow. Dude, they've given us so many free gift packs. You'd think they could at least give us some XP or something. Something actually useful. All right, let's see what else we got. I'm saving the Havoc game mode. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Wait, we have 20 versus 20 Capture the Flag? But how does this work? I kind of want to check out Big Capture the Flag. Also, I know it's been a while since I've played and uploaded Modern Warfare 2, and you're probably wondering, Eric, why do you have the rat skin? If you linked your Amazon Prime account with Modern Warfare 2, they actually just gave you the rat skin for free. So naturally, I have to use this skin because it's so ugly. His eyes have jiggle physics. His eyes look like egg whites. Oh, also, apparently while you're matchmaking, they have this little skin wheel so you can change skins for your character while you're waiting, which seems kind of pointless because you could just go to the operator's tab and do it anyway. But you know, honestly, as time progresses, I'm pretty sure the rat skin on this game is basically going to be like the Gunzo Exo Clown of Advanced Warfare. It's just so stupid and ridiculously over the top, but unfortunately it's tied to these overpriced bundles on Modern Warfare 2. I mean, Gunzo was also attached to a terrible supply drop system on Advanced Warfare. But you see, that was better because it was... <laughs> <laughs> basically gambling. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But Gunzo is a classic. He's an OG. At least at this point. I mean, back then he was completely hated. But underrated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's just two massive teams playing capture the flag. Now, to be honest, I don't really care about the buffs and nerfs in this game. There are obviously some patch notes and some different changes to different guns, but I mean, who cares? Just play the game. We already know how Infinity Ward buffs and nerfs have been going so far for the entire life cycle of this game. It basically doesn't change much. They could be like, oh, we nerfed the MP5. What did they do to it? They changed one random stat by like 1%. Like, oh boy. Wait, I just unlocked... Huh? M13C unlocked... What was that? Who would have seen this coming? We have an enemy vehicle just camping at our spawn. We should probably do something about that. I, I marked it. Do we not know there's a tank in our spawn? What are these guys doing? Kill the tank! Flag guy's running! 
What are we doing? This team is so clueless. They're spawn camping us with tanks, and the guy with the flag was just hanging out with them. He wasn't even necessarily trying to leave. What is this team? All I'm saying is if you want to play this game mode, you better be ready. Okay, so we got a child playing this game. I can hear it. Honestly, it's a terrifying thought that some parents might let a five-year-old play this game. Mommy, I really want the new home window skin. I'm going for it. I got the flag. Let's go. We should have no issues just running this all the way back. Nice. Not even paying attention. I can run this right up the middle of the map. What are they doing? I feel like something like this would work better if they would actually make maps that would fit these game modes. Like, it would make sense for the game mode. No, I'm almost there! I'm almost there! Eh. Don't climb that. Alright, I got it. Easy. I only had to fight two people and they weren't even paying attention to me. I think I might have actually died to the new FAMAS. That means someone bought the Black Cell and they already have the weapon. Yep, here it is, the FR Advancer. We have it. Someone bought the Black Cell and also five more tier skips to get instant access to this. I mean, I hope it was worth it because I definitely do not think it is. I mean, it's pretty good, but you could also just play the game and get it for free. You're like, nah, I don't want to have to play the game to get the gun. Me want it now. That is quite literally the reaction that they want from us. Yeah, oh, I'm camping a second story area. I'm, let's just shoot him in the back. Woohoo! I like the idea of this game mode, but the execution of it is terrible. These maps are not built for it. Too many buildings and too many lines of sights to die from. This is like the 20th time I've died to someone that's just sitting in a second story area waiting for me to run past them. And then they jump down from their camping spot and shoot me in the back. This is adorable. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't want to play the rest of this through and I probably will not touch this ever again. I am purely just doing it for the battle pass at this point. Kill cam just some random dude getting ran over spawn trap. No, I did I decent. I was the best on the mode. team. I don't know. It's just kind of difficult to play a game mode like that with so many people if you're just going solo. If you get a full squad, though, it might be better. How did that do for the battle pass progression? Barely one token? Awesome. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me. Check out the new WA 2000, the new FAMAS, and Big CTF on Modern Warfare 2 Season 5. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more new Modern Warfare 2 stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Tranquil.